Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to RimWorld. Diamond has been over here cleaning and have you ever seen a barn so clean? Oh, that's nice. Both of them. Oh, a little rubble left over here. I got to look and I just noticed something. We have a unicow. Well, okay, not when you're that direction. <laughs> well, a little while ago... Did, did, um, a little while ago we had a, a single horn there. I was going to make a unicorn joke, but yeah, never mind. Um, yeah... We got a social fight over here. Somebody insulted somebody. Social insulted Manuela insulted David. This drove David into a rage and began a fight. And this is how we start our episode. Great. And Manuela attempted to use her tough left fist to bash David, but the swing went wide. David slammed Manuela with his forceful left fist, lacerating her, her right arm while grimacing. And Manuela smashed David in the left arm while wearing a deep look. David smashed Manuela with his left fist. Manuela attempted to use her firm right fist to smash David, but hesitated at the last second. And David clobbered Manuela with his solid left fist, injuring her torso while wearing a stone-faced look. Manuela tried to use her strong left fist to smash David, but stumbled at the last second. And David bashed Manuela in the right hand, knocking her off balance. Manuela smashed David bashing his right arm and right humorous while wearing a savage look and David tried to smash Manuela but stumbled at the last second and David missed Manuela with a smash from his rugged head <laughs> my rugged head Manuela used her powerful head to smash David injuring her left leg and left his left leg and tibia while laughing in her head, probably. David, how long are these guys gonna do this? Manuela, so David hit Manuela with a slam from her right fist, right fist, clobbering her left arm in an explosion of gore. Manuela slammed David in the right leg. David struck Manuela in the torso. Manuela tripped while trying to smash David with her right fist. And David smashed Manuela in the neck and Manuela missed David with a smash from her head. David hit Manuela with a smash from his right fist, bruising her right arm and right humerus while wearing a bloody look. Manuela smashed David in the torso. Do we have any more body parts to injure? Manuela, let's see, David smashed Manuela in the jaw painfully. Manuela tried to slam David with her head, but missed. David used his left fist to clobber Manuela, wounding her left leg and left tibia without Emotion, Manuela fainted thanks to a bruise to the left leg. Wow. Okay. Well, um, so much for my plans for David working on all kinds of stuff. What was it? Oh, I was going to have him get this up and going. I had Cyprian bringing the two tool cabinets over from the art room. So I got to thinking, this should be able to connect to multiples. I think this will run both, and this will run both of these two. So don't have to have four of them in here. Let's save some some resources from making more. But um, yeah, David, tell you what, you get the joy of rescuing Manuela. Thank you. You guys, you know, make up. All right. Um, otherwise, what is going on here? I feel like there's something else I was going to say over here when that interrupted me. Um, no, I think that was it. But it was something to do with a barn, though. Yeah, that's right. Got to look over here, because we got a new poker table in. We're throwing horseshoes, and got a pretty good-looking uh, um, rec room starting to form here. Nice uh, um, flagstone flooring underneath. And I got to, to looking at something. Clicked on this, and found out that we have a very impressive barn. <laughs> That's what happens when you take that wall out right there. And this becomes something more animals sleep. Interesting. They had to choose between these animal spots or these really impressive entertainment type recreation pieces of equipment. It chose the animal spot. So I think what we need to do and just actually, you know, this door doesn't really need to be here. It lines up with the other ones, but I don't see any reason why we can't have all of these within the same uh, section of corridor. Let's put this 
over here, and another one of these over there. I think that would be fine. Let's mark these two for deconstruct. And Tomislav, you are... Oh, I asked you to put all these statues out. I was getting real tired of them sitting there. Um, who can do some, some repairing here? Manuel is actually in pretty rough shape. Right, Pinky has been destroyed. Well, that may have already been there. I think the Pinky and the Nose were already gone. Um, otherwise, cracks and bruises. Um, medicine, 74. That's a lot of cracks and bruises. David, how'd you do? You're cracked and bruised all over the place, too. Urgh. How bad? Only by one. By two. Two. Not so bad. Two. Okay, you are set to herbals. Manuela... How badly did David mess you up? Six away. Five away. Yeah, ten away. Yeah, you're going to have to get the good stuff. But David is just... He, he just needs a night's sleep and he'll be done. What are you doing? Hauling wood to electric tailor bench. No, no, no. Go. You're not even registered to... Uh, David. Right there. You're set to bed rest. Why not get in here? Consuming a fine meal. Are you that far off? No. Oh well, yeah, go consume your fine meal and then pop over into this bed right here and rest until healed. Okay, so I need someone to take care of Manuela. Tomislav! Thought you were going to bed, didn't you? Why don't you come over here and get uh, Manuela all patched up? Appreciate that. And Kathra, I need, I need a constructor before they go to bed. It's, well, it's 2300. I guess I better just let them go to bed. Yeah. First thing in the morning. In fact, David would have been the one. Because he's the night constructor, but uh, he's a little wounded right now. Um, I would have him take uh, these two out. And maybe transfer some of these parts over to get something over here working. Then, then this will be in a space that is enclosed with doors all the way through. I want this wide open look. I like this big opening going into the rec room. And it works if there's nothing else in its space that counts as anything but recreation. I think that will work for us. Um, I wish I could do it to the dining room too. Just wander in and not have to worry about all of this. Anyway, folks are going to bed. Um, like while they're doing that, let's zoom out a little bit and see what's going on. Um, I have got a vacation coming up next week. I'll be out of the state, really. I'll be heading for California for, um, let's see, five or six days, seven days? Yeah, next Wednesday to the following Tuesday. So I'll get a few more episodes in it before then, though this weekend's going to be real busy too. So it's not going to be a lot of Noble Rambler around for the next two weeks. Just kind of giving you a heads up if I suddenly don't show up anymore on your on your notification list or, or whatever. It's not because I'm gone. It's because I'm gone. <laughs> I will be back. At least that's the plan. Um... Otherwise, looking down at my list, I think that is all that I had queued up to talk about. Um, power is doing okay. Where are we? Midnight, we get the sun coming up in three or four hours. Yeah, we're doing fine on power so far. That's working. I'm going to transition everything out of the greenhouses that isn't food. So once these guys hit like 95%, I'll switch this over to corn or something. I'm already transitioning everything out of here, though I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this patch here of heel root. One more round. That's not something I want to risk running out of. We're going to make as much as we can over here. So we're going to be constantly tapping this supply right now. Um, so just you know, 253 of the Nutramine, let's use as much of it as possible and get it spread all through the base. I need to get some over here once we get these built. So need need medicine going in several directions. So yeah, we'll leave the uh, we'll leave a patch of heel root in here. But as far as cotton and more um, of the Devil Strand, I think that's best to be outside as a seasonal thing. We'll just do a big first of it, you know, first of every spring. I think we're going to make it, well, barring a, a major event. That's the danger of being out here. We are at, what, 80% or thereabouts? 79%? And we're at the, the first of 
autumn or fall. So we've got seven days left of our growing season. That should be enough to give us our last 20%. So for a 30 day growing season, we've got, I thought I was hearing, hearing shooting. I just kind of going back through my memory as I was talking, I kept hearing this boom, boom in the background, but apparently I was hearing things. So for a 30 day growing season, it, this stuff just barely gets through, especially in the good soil. Out of good soil, we're at only 50% grown. We're probably not going to make that. So Devil Strand was really just a luxury. It was just an experiment. I was asked in the comments long ago, how about we get into Devil Strand? And there was someone that had requested a bunch of red furniture, I want to say. So whoever you were, let me know again. So whatever Devil Strand we do get in, we'll get you know, a red duster or a red armchair in your room or whatever it was that we were talking about at the time. Um, other than that, sun is coming up. Didn't get even halfway down on our batteries. Power's coming back in. That's a good thing. Um, none of these are blocked. No, nope, nothing's grown that shouldn't have. How about over here? Uh, nope, no trees have popped in. Good. Otherwise, um, still waiting for that raid to pop in. Yeah, this... I know what I was going to say, just the memory just popped back into me when I was sitting here and then that fight started up. I was going to say that this started about two hours or so after the last episode ended. So I'm, the reason I'm, I'm doing that, not running it for a full day or two in between and getting caught up on things is I just have this feeling that raid is going to pop in at any time and I kind of want to be here when it does. It's been several episodes now since we got the, the raid that brought in... Um, yeah, the one that, the one that was George that brought in the saws coming after him and ended up getting Oath Knight and Daniel and Diamond out of that group. So since that raid, if you go back to, back to then, that's been several episodes. So anytime now, this, this episode or next one, I'm guessing is, is our next, uh, challenge. We'll, we'll put it that way. Um... I went ahead, got rid of the wood, pulled, uh, set to remove floor where there is wood, and put out marble flagstone just like we have over in here. I think that will look good underneath wooden uh, uh, shelf units. And I put shelf units in around the perimeter where we have more supply stored behind them, kind of like hiding them. In fact, we probably should put a door in these corners. So we have easy access to get into the wood and the steel and the blocks that are down in here. And then we could even, you know, that's what we could do that. Another one of these, like, right in here. Kind of seal this off. Yeah, that looks good. Kind of the perimeter. And then we'll have another doorway into here. Where's a regular door? Right there. Into there. Eh. Yeah, that works. That works. That looks fine. Like so. And we can get into those supplies like that. I think that looks good. It's kind of hard to, to tell what this is going to look like until we get to where uh, all of these squares are gone. So I'll wait until we have the floors laid out before we actually start putting the rest of the cabinets in. Missed one right there, didn't I? Right there. Oh, missed one there too. I only did the one side, I guess. All right, like that. Okay. So we'll put shelving units all through here and we'll, we'll categorize what they are so that certain things are in certain areas. We can always see what it is we've got. These walls are going to come out. <sighs> yeah, I really should put the turret system in here. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Yep, I think, I think we do. We can't burn out any bugs that land in here because we're going to lose all of our supplies. We're we are going to have to do this kind of a, of a system in here. Oh, you're on, aren't you? Okay, let's... Uh, that guy. Turn you off, Miss P. You're watching television. Ooh, Cyprian... Oh, Rabbit's going to get that one. Cyprian, I asked to bring the, the big screen TV in, and he did. Pretty cool. Both Knight is watching TV. Diamond is playing horseshoes. Grandma's Playing billiards. Yep, this is this is the place now. That's the happening place. You, Anastasia, is bringing in to wooden bookshelf. Where are you going? What bookshelf got set for stone down here? And what was that? Break risk, David. Okay, what if he's been? 
Oh, I thought you were carrying... I thought you were carrying blocks. Okay, Mar marble blocks. David, you get taken care of health? You did. And you're getting low. I thought you went and got a meal. You hungry again already? Uh, Manuela. Yeah, why don't you, David, David, why don't you go ahead and get yourself a meal? You're not that bad off, so... Yeah, everything is getting close to popping. You'll be you'll be done here just a little bit. Heck, I could probably just send you out there. I probably could. Why don't you do that and then get back to your stats are gonna be good. What what do I need you to do? I need a constructor doing something. Oh, that got done. I know that uh, Daniel is working on this. I guess he went back and finished. And he didn't get trapped. Cool. <laughs> um, what is there to I know, David, why don't you work on this one when you're done. I've got the components set into every one of these. Now we just need them constructed. Then we need power, apparently. Oh, power. Oh, I never thought about that. Pause for a second. I was thinking of running the main power loop through the top end and then running the switch down the bottom end to do these. And just using regular doors through here. That's what it was. Except that, what's the power on these guys? Just 50 watts. Except that if we do end up using this as a defensive structure, we're going to need to get in there rather quick. So I decided to go back in with, with automatic doors, but didn't plan for the power. Ha. Huh. Okay, let's turn that back on and let's think about power then. So I need to come off the top of this and go across like this for power and then I need this to go on and, and make a loop through yeah something like that so I was gonna tear that out and I'm glad I didn't so that's kind of redundant there um, so you're gonna go through and you're gonna tap you're gonna go all the way through and you are going away okay uh, Kathra why don't you do that for me right now? And who's this? Bill? Ne needs a meal? He's fine. Okay. So that takes care of that. That gives us a loop around the whole perimeter. Does all the doors, but it's an inner leg that's going to power all of our lights. Which I need to make sure do not get turned on on me. So, yeah. Um, Eric's going there. David's going there. Whoa. Did you... Oh, all the supplies must have been brought. Oh, that's too bad. Could have had you make the trip with a stack of blocks with you. Um, but I think Eric maybe just brought all the last of the blocks out. I think he did. Okay. So that's fine. Getting ready to I see steam coming out of there. We'll be using that soon to, to warm this all up for the winter. Then we need to get this one up and running too. Before winter hits. It has a lot to do. Okay. Um... Kind of roaming around. There's a. What is that? That is a a double bedroll being hauled to somewhere. David is really not happy, but he's he's having fun working. Pretty soon his what pain? Now there's really nothing to pull out. Of. Well, a little pain, I guess. Health? Yeah, that's just these. That'll go away. Ah, you'll be fine. Okay, so I need I need. Lots and lots of hauling pigs. We have food out here. We have food out there. We got wood out here. Come on, guys. I mean, we didn't sell that many, did we? Animals? What do we got here? Who are you? You're David again. Dogs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that looks like halfway. We have 20 dogs, and they're all trained. Pigs? All the haulable ones are in the right zone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And another one's down there, nine. Hmm. One more pig, and we'll have tw 20 and 20. I would think that'd be a healthy maximum. Maybe it's still too many, I don't know. David, you're doing what? You're saying heck with this. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Okay, you won't be there long. Um, health, yeah, you're you're basically done. You're gonna, there you go. If that made you feel better. Okay, fine. Now you're going to bed for good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, power's looking good. They're actually dropping foods in places other than here. Ooh, that's a good sign. Up in there, we're kind of... I don't know why, there is still space. You are important. You are preferred. You are preferred. Okay. Well, because at that time, this was full. And so they dropped them off, but there hasn't been anyone to, to feed this back again. That's why. Power's really cooking now. we got uh, generators going empty, and let's just take advantage of this one power for a while. Um, all right, so what should we be accomplishing right now? I did notice that the ladies were mining down in here and getting close to popping us open. So let's get someone to get this one going. Who are you? Cyprian, you are cleaning. Why are you on cleaning? Um, work. Cyprian, you're on art, and then you're on research, or clean, and then research. So art must have run out, and I'm really liking these, uh, getting this art all over the place. So let's make sure we're well stocked on art projects. What do we got over here? Bills. That's not it. There we go. So the smalls. I see. Billy has this table for the large. Okay. Catherine has this table for the large. I figure I'm just making larges now. Not the giant ones. They take up too much room. But the small and the large take up the same footprint. May as well get the, the most beauty out of it as we can. Um, this one, the large. So that means I can get rid of this. At least all but the one. Um, the large is taken up by Grandma. And this one, there's no larges. Okay, so let's do 10 of those. All right. And Oath Knight has got a small one there, so let's make it just one. Maybe one of these days I'll get back to it. Okay. So that's that. You are heading somewhere. You're heading somewhere, and you're new. Who are you? We've got a large, good wood statue by Cyprian. 150 beauty called Cubic Number 3. This carving bears a depiction of Kaya adding surface detail to a duster while smiling proudly. Kaya lifts the duster seemingly without effort. The style is cell shaded with simple elements. There's a lot of variations in the type of styles, aren't, isn't there? The scene takes place inside a small town built near a hill. This portrayal refers to Kaya finishing construction on a duster. Interesting. And Kaya's already got two things in her room. Kaya, you are here. One, two. That gives gives you a 5.5. .5. All right. So we don't need to add any more to you. Wish you had a boyfriend who would like to have a statue of you. But that doesn't seem to be a, the case right now, does it? Curious. If I were to go to your social, Handy's the highest, and then Bill, and then Rabbit. But these They're not very strong. So no, no. I wonder who does have any real strong well 100 percent between handy and tomislav that's, that's good to see um rabbit and handy that's not good to see <laughs> shantigo that's right there's also something else to look for let me run through this real quick shantigo is with michael and handy um looking for bigger numbers klaus and handy and Sangria, and Sangria with Klaus, and bonded with three different animals, and is has lost some of them to being sold off, I'm thinking. Um, otherwise, Handy Rabbit Tomislav. Okay, so Cathra, most are going to have these first five because they've been here the longest, so they've had the best chance to, to bond with everybody. Um, only Handy for the the 40 or more. Natalia, Handy, Michael, Shantigo, and Handy, and Grandma, Missa P, Handy, and then low numbers, Alicia, Handy, Handy's, everybody likes Handy, um, David, Cyprian, and Handy, and Klaus, Grandma, we've got Michael, and Handy, and David, and then Bill, with Handy, and everything else is less than that. Sea Stars, Handy, and Eric. So there's 
but only but negative 25 from Eric to her, so no no match going on there. Kaya, so 56 and Handy, 22 and Bill. Faith, Handy, and then Rabbit. Manuela, 60 to Handy, and 25 to Faith. So there really aren't any other couples building here. Everybody wants to marry Handy, but otherwise, that's about it. Um, Cyprian, 67 with Handy, 66 with David, and 19 with Billy. Bliss, try that again. Social, 35 with Handy. Uh, Billy, 40 with Handy, 15, 14 with Bliss. George, 50, 40 with Handy, and 36 with Shantico. Diamond, 55 with Handy, and 39 with David. And but only plus one going back. So now Daniel, um, 100% with David, 51 with Kaya, but only one and zero returning. So likes people, but isn't liked in return is what I'm getting there. Although is very new. Hmm. And Oath Knight, um, 40 with Handy, 15 with David. Yeah. Um, Grandma had asked if there was anybody in the the colony older than she. Where's age? There. 38. Let me run through the numbers here this way. So 36 for Handy, 38 for Tomislav. Rabbit was 28. Shantigo was 36. Um, chronological age versus... What was the other one? Hmm. I assume we're looking at the, the one without parentheses. So Klaus, 48. Uh, Sangria, 42. Kathra, 36. Natalia, 53. Michael, 21. Miss B, 23. Alicia, 18. Uh, Eric, 50. David, 30. Grandma, 59. Uh, Bill, 23. Sea Stars, 51. Kaya, 41. Faith, 53. Manuela, 39, Radar, 37, Cyprian, 40, Bliss, 26, Billy, 36, George, 57, almost as old as Grandma, Diamond, 42, Daniel, 63, Daniel's got the record here as the oldest, the most senior um, of, our, of our colonists, and then Oath Knight, 58, and Grandma was 59, so... Both Knight and Grandma are almost tied. But Daniel's got you beat. Okay, let things roll here after that. Um, where are we? 6 p.m. So day shift is probably getting close to... Or night shift is getting close to to uh, waking up. Or waiting for me to just wake him up. David, I'll let you go a little bit longer. Billy, you a little longer. Any other Zs in there? Grandma and... I guess that's it. Okay. So, Oath Knight, you're going to grab a meal. Then you're probably going to go work with some uh, wild boars. Over in here, Shantigo, when you're done with that, go ahead and do a little cleaning up. And then haul that one. You can't. Why can you not haul it? Now you can. Odd. Oh, because you were dropping that meal off. Okay. So after that, haul in a bunch of... Can't. We're not going to play this game again, are we? There, you can haul that one, but not any of the other ones. Weird. Um, that, and then haul this one. So we can fill that, that pile up. And then these two are ready to go again. We're... Closing in on that 900 mark on Kibble. So Kibble's doing fine. Food is still doing pretty good. I need to get some more food hauled, though. I wonder if I should find a colonist that's set to hauling permanently. Um, okay, Shantigo, just leave that there and let's haul this one instead. Let's see if we can get all three of them this time. Good. Drop that right there. And now bring me 75 rice. Potatoes. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Nope. Let's just do that right now. Thank you. Somebody will put that away. It won't go bad. All right, so that gets this only 38. 
What are you? You're a turkey. Raccoon, turkey. 37, turkey. Shantiko, do that one next. You can't, of course. Arr, Grimworld, you drive me nuts. Okay, I just saw the red X's there and made me think, any more doors pop in that we need to shut down right there, forbidding these guys? Well, yeah, they can come in from this side. Over here, no doors have been built yet. No doors, no doors. Up above. No, we're fine. Okay. So, projects to get done. Is this one done? What's left? They're all in. Just need to get some uh, power to it. In fact, let's kind of do that. Where are we? 2100. Who can make one quick trip up here with steel? Tomislav, you are watching TV. And you finally got your first chance to do it. I'm not going to take that away from you. And he already went to bed. Um, nothing else for uh, Tomislav to do after TV. Nope, you're fine. Rabbit, you are playing horseshoes. Sean Tigo, you are playing poker with Eric. <laughs> That'll be fun. Klaus, you are playing chess. And most everybody's coming in to, to uh, call it a night, aren't they? You're training a wild boar yet. Kathra, you are playing poker. You hear there's a good poker game going on, so you want to get in on that one. Uh, Natalia's making medicine on her own. Good. I don't have to worry about entrapping somebody to that. Um, how's this been doing? Over here, there is a Vlis component. There is a Natalia component almost finished. Otherwise, we are out of components. Um, boy, who dropped that? Oh, there was a fight over here. I got to get a club back onto somebody. Onto Manuela. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, Natalia was making medicine, and I was so happy about that, but... Wow, I need these done. I can't get them to voluntarily go over here. They all want a block cut first. That seems to be the order from you know, of all of the crafting stations. For some reason, they're choosing block cutting over this, over some of the other things. So I just have to manually sign it. Um, what am I thinking of here? Natalia, you needs are in great shape. Let's spend the night doing this instead. Let's do that. I think about it, I'll get Cypher in back over to... Uh, to here again tomorrow. He seems to do a good job with that. Um, though he likes to make his art too. Yeah. Um, we needed to find a home for this. And I was looking to see who to give it to and there really wasn't anybody that qualified. So let's just treat it as it needs to go somewhere to, uh, to make something nicer. What would that something be? This seems to be the place that needs to have the biggest bonus possible. Give them a huge bonus when they walk in here. So let's do that. You install where? What would seem logical? Right there. Yeah, that works. And Vliss, you could do that for me. Thank you. You're so close to it. You'll be perfect. Okay, I'm like gold right there. I need to get somebody specifically set with the highest crafting skill, like Natalia. We just got a new um, component done. Let's do two things. Deconstruct that. Let's get a new... Well, should have done another order. Where is that thing? Production? Crafting. Let's put you there, just because that fits better. Then I can put another one of these. There. There. Actually, that looks kind of interesting. We'll do that. But this one, let's set up a bill. I can let this thing run. For a club. And specifically, details, none of these. Uh, I want just gold. Okay, there. On one club. Now, how does this work? Zero to 100 hit points. Does that mean if I say I want 99 hit... No, it comes out at 100 hit points all the time. What does that mean when it's in the menu for making something? Is that just a mistake? <clears throat> I don't quite get that. Anyway, I want... I won't set the skill because I want Natalia specifically to do this. She's got the highest crafting skill in the whole colony. I want you to make a gold club for Eric. And then I need Manuela to pick up her, uh, her wooden one. 
Um, you're still in the hospital. Okay, how bad off are you? You're green on a few of them, so you're not far away now. 19 out of 20, get food, by the way? You did, good. Hell, so up in here, got four left on that one, two. There's a five left on the right arm. Okay, that's the biggie. That's a broken arm. Okay. There's 11 going on up there. Um, that was a big pause. Incapacitated refugee opportunity. Tetsuya, housemate, contacts you on the radio and requests help. He's wounded and unable to move. Without your help, he will die within eight days. It may be dangerous there, so beware. Jump to location. Boy, do we want to do this. I mean, it'd be something new and different, but I have a feeling we have a major, unless this was the major event, so I don't know how that works. Does Rimworld have a, a, a several running countdowns going? So many ticks until the next raid. So many ticks until the next you know, meteorological event. Whether that be a meteorite dropping in or pods crashing in or ship crashing in. Does it have another timer for other events like out here on the world map? So I don't know if there's just one event and it picks from a, a massive list of, of randomness or if there are a lot of different timers running in the background. If any of you have a clue about that, let me know. What, does this take the place of our raid? This is really what it comes down to. If it does, we might consider doing this. We've got to get from here to here. Seven days, and we have eight days to do it. That's not going to work. It's different if... If our colony was on a road, and we could just run over there and just cross that little part. But that's where we're going to get there. By the time we get even our, our I want to say our horses, our, our muffaloes loaded, our timer is going to run out. Wait a minute. Where did I read seven days? That was weird. Pull that out. Put that back in. From there to there. Time left seven days. That's what I read. It was only three days. Oh, oh, okay. So that's, okay, a little brain fart there. All right. So this is doable if we start loading tomorrow. <laughs> and if we want to sacrifice probably our four or five best, depending on what's going to happen over here, and possibly lose some of our colonists out there, without our own hospital facility waiting for them. I'm always hesitant to do these. I am. Let me get thoughts about this, but I'm leaning toward not. Let's continue working on our base and getting all this completed and, and uh, you know, get last of our stuff done and get ready for winter. We've really got to put all hands on deck when it comes to those last few days of... Uh, of uh, getting things planted and whatnot. I turned, I modified Texas a little bit. I made a specific um, grow zone right here that has more of the rich soil in it. This I'm allowing them to replant. This I'm not. There's no point in putting any more in because this stuff takes seven days to grow and we've got seven days left till our grow season's done. So that's going to save a lot of uh, labor of replanting something that's not going to make it. So I'm trying to you know, to min-max this kind of stuff. This is fine. We'll replant this really until now. So I guess we're done with replanting this one. So turn off sowing there. Any more of these? Up in here, um, there's no rich soil in here because what I'm getting at. The rich soil should go a little bit longer. Uh, should, should grow faster. So, although this is now rice and this is rice. So it's just this one. And you are hay grass and there's a lot of rich soil in there. I'll go another day or so, then I'll turn this off. We may still get some out of this. Um, Shantigo brought in a rat. Okay. He must somehow be on hunting. No, he's on butchering. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! We're out of animals again. And, and Handy, or Natalia, made a club. Where'd you go? Wow! Eric, look at that. Look at that. The parade of the of the gold club. Taking it straight to the armory. 
No, where are you going? Taking it straight to the tailor shop. <laughs> well, Eric, you know where your club is now. In fact, should I wake you up in the middle of the night just so you can go get that thing? I think we need to. You just need to get there right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's reset these. What are these going to be over here? Yeah, I'll do that afterward. Just start compact machinery. Oh, this stuff is worth its weight in gold right now. So let's see. Start to finish that and see which way we need to go. But um, after the episode is done, I'll go back in and probably load up a, a bay of wools and, and one of uh, uh, muffalo leathers and things like that. Just kind of fill these in with the, the ones we would probably use the most. Get them there in the tailor shop. Need to get lights in here. Do we have them set? I do. We have no power running. So I need to get conduits going. Yeah. Um, now we're getting low because we are out of wood, out of generators. Um, two more hours, it's going to turn on again, the, the solar panels. I think we're still fine. I think we're good. But this winter, we're going to have to have everything running constantly, which means we're going to need somebody set to hauling at that point permanently so they're constantly doing this on their own i don't have to think about it but yeah that that was something else um butcherings we're heading out into here now we need to do another hunt we need to every other episode just about put in a hunt and really we're coming down to just hunting the little stuff i still i too oh you still haven't been come been brought in Ooh, any of these pigs still out here so you and there was a turkey so you, in this area, there was a turkey, a pig. Yep, yeah, we got to get these. Okay, on pause. Um, Oath Knight, where are you at right now? You are on your way to go get something. You're after the pig. Okay, so George, you are butchering. You're ready to go to bed. So you're going to go to bed right after that. Billy, you're up. Making large sculptures. Let's get you to do some hauling. If you haul. There's one of you two that didn't haul. And it is... Hauling. There it is. A, a bearing that confused me. So Billy is a hauler. Good. Who else is up? Um, sea stars. Probably clear down at the bottom. Yeah. And you showed me which one to tap. So right there. And I'm going to guess it's that one too. Well... Would we be able to see that if it's diagonal? Yeah, we would. So you are not. We're only going to get three out of this. Darn. Unless it goes this way. Um, anyway, next person that's up, Grandma. You are cooking a simple meal. Uh, are there ten over here? There are. Okay. So not many of those left to do. But you have a pig leg, so you're going to take a while to walk. Needs. You're in good shape. A good walk will do you. Um, you, no. Where is a... Oh, we do have pigs out here. Okay. Do we have any more of the... No. They would be right in here. So these did get picked up. Okay. So I guess we're down to just the two. Yeah, we got pigs up in here too. Alright, so we need to do a pig hunt. Probably next episode. It's about time to shut this one down. But who was it? Was it Billy? Yeah, you're going there. And Oath Knight is going to there. So the animals that are ready to be butchered are taken care of. So we have the pigs over there. We have the one um, alpaca. We've got a turkey. Yeah, we better go after the pigs. So maybe next episode, if a raid doesn't pop in on me, I'll get us through the night and pick a quick hunting party and have them ready to go and start it with that. That's probably the best thing to do. Okay. So anything else to do this time? Let's think about that. Um, I wanted a constructor to do something a while back. What was that for? I don't know. <laughs> I was looking for someone. I just went through the list and I forgot what I was looking for. <laughs> I'll figure it out when I'm editing. I think we'll call this one done. Kind of quit while I'm behind. It's been Old Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you next time. Bye-bye.